margins boundaries moving beyond the margins pushing the boundaries what if i tell you that these margins don't exist at all what if these margins were just a product of our fertile imagination let me take you through these imaginary margins a little better but before we get there let me give you a brief background of my professional self my career spans three distinct different industries i started off and spent 7 years in the information technology industry as a software developer post which about a decade in the voice overs industry in the media industry as a freelance voice over artist and a trainer and then 7 years in the travel industry as the founder of an impact oriented travel company that helps to redefine the way women travel in india all these three careers do have an overlap between them in terms of timelines i was born and brought up brought up in a very small conservative south indian community in india all through my growing up years i was surrounded by people who were almost of the same skin color spoke the same language and shared my belief and value system as a young girl i was a self confessed nerd who chased marks my social margins were set homogeneity was the norm the margins were set in my head the imaginary margins as i got into the it industry i started meeting and closely interacting with people who were very different from me different in terms of nationalities religions cultures languages food habits lifestyles and more this intrigued me i wanted to know these people better i wanted to know their cultures better i wanted to know how they cooked rice in their kitchens or if they even cooked rice at all or if they even cooked curious curiosity got the better of me and thus i started pushing my social margins at this point in time this curiosity led me to discovering travel as a hobby i wanted to meet different kinds of people experience different cultures and constantly be in touch with different communities to keep pushing myself socially homogeneity slowly started relaxing its rigid hold on me as i traveled more and more within and outside india it brought in a flood gate of experiences and people into my life i started realizing that there are no social margins that exist and all through this while i was not really concerned of issues that were not of my immediate concern in my life and suddenly looking at people who lived in my same country but lived a completely different life started making me cure my own selective blindness to the issues that were not of immediate concern in my life all through this while my professional margins were pretty much set in stone i completed my engineering degree and i was working in the it industry i had also successfully subscribed to the emi traps such as home loans which gave a short term purpose to my existence my life was set my professional margins were set but relaxing my social margins brought in a completely new wave of thought process into my life what if what if i can question status quo what if i can find a profession that would keep my curiosity intact and also pay me 
the already relaxed social margins, the gaping hole that had been created in my social margins, slowly started seeping into my professional margins. I started seeking an alternate career that would pay me, also let me travel and keep my curiosity intact. That led to the next phase, voiceovers as a profession. This new profession gave me a lot of personal time. It also helped me reveal facets of myself that I had never knew existed before. I really started enjoying voiceovers as a profession. At this point, I had already started pushing my professional margins. And this new profession of voiceovers brought in a completely new set of people into my life, the creative types. People from radio, advertising, music, and more. Interacting with these people made me realize, made me come into close terms with their lives, their passions, their creativity, their talent, their aspirations, their background, and much more. All these made me start looking into myself as well and relaxing the hold on my professional margins as well. And most importantly, I started meeting a variety of entrepreneurs and social change makers who helped me hone my skills in the new domain. Their thought processes on finding the gaps in the industry, talking about issues that plague the society, all these suddenly started making me also strangely believe that I probably can actually bring about a change. What if I can start contributing to the gaps in the industry or plug the problems in the society? That led to the next phase in my life, entrepreneurship. The bug of what if, what if I can start solving the problems in the society? What if I can play my part as a responsible citizen in the society? That led to the formation of my company, F5 Escapes, which is a seven-year-old story. We have been working on redefining the way women travel in India, not just through tours, but also through skill-building workshops, travel safety workshops, and more. Looking back at my life at this point, I see that homogeneity and social margins are completely out of the window. Looking back at my own life, looking at, back at my circles, I see that I am surrounded by people who speak many different languages, who are from different communities and ethnicities, who have varying political ideologies, who eat different kinds of food, who are from different parts of the country, who do varying different things with their lives. Being able to actually embrace all these people into my life has helped me diminish my own social and professional margins and most importantly, look beyond my margins and start respecting the other people's margins. I have been thinking really hard as to why this unintentional and unplanned heterogeneity in my life has helped me push myself so much personally and professionally. And here is the explanation that I came up with. We as humans inherently are programmed to seek homogeneity. We are the most comfortable among people who are very, very similar to us. We really enjoy their company. While this is absolutely great, it poses two major problems. One, the lack of understanding of the other point of view as a group makes you, as a group, shun the other person's idea, sometimes not even making an effort to understand the other person. The second one, more dangerously, is the bubble of the false sense of validation of one's own current set of point of views which may or may not even exist tomorrow. And that 
leads to a kind of complacence with no urge to evolve further at all. On the other hand, intentional heterogeneity, heterogeneous mingling, leads to constant challenging of one's own ideas and belief systems. It imparts knowledge, it imparts empathy, wisdom, the ability to be able to accept another person's point of view, and most importantly, it lends so much connection to one's own self. I have realized that strongly connecting to other people and their ways of life has helped me connect with myself way, way better than before. What has happened in the past one and a half decades in me as a person? What has changed in me? Earlier, I was quite inhibited. I did not believe that I could do or achieve a lot of things. But embracing different kinds of people in my life has made me realize that probably I can be like them. Actually intentionally seeking interesting and intelligent people over and over again and finding a sense of professional belonging with them has made me think that yes, I can also probably one day achieve things. And most importantly, it gave me the belief and also the belief and also the duty that I ought to be doing my duties as a responsible citizen of this society. Birds of the same feather flock together, yes. But embracing different kinds of birds add colors, definitely adds colors to one's own plumage. Intentionally seeking heterogeneity in our social, professional and personal circles makes us move our own margins, our own boundaries. Let's all intentionally seek heterogeneity. Of course, in due course of time, let's be kind to ourselves and allow for the process, allow ourselves time to evolve. May intentional heterogeneity be the tool to pushing our own margins over and over again. Thank you.